Hello, my name is Brandon, and if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out how in the world do I get zip forms working on my Mac again. Well, I'll let you know that Apple has changed the way that they handle Java in a recent update, and I'm here to kind of walk you through the steps so that you can figure out how to configure it, how to get it set up correctly. In the past, you're probably searching for Java preferences and you're looking at the instructions on Zipform's website, which are now out of date. So this tutorial will help get you up to speed and get you running in no time. If you've been updating your Mac regularly, then you probably are watching this video because you cannot get access into Zipform's. The instructions on the Zipform site tell you to access the Java preferences, but once you run Apple's recent Java update, these can no longer be found anywhere. So don't bother with instructions that try and take you down that path because they're now outdated. Ultimately, Apple has decided to just make users download Java directly from Oracle if they need to use it, and that means you need it for zip forms to function properly. So in order to download it, you can access zip forms like you normally do and allow it to go through its attempted configuration and loading process, and then you'll be greeted with the Need Java warning page. There's three links down there that offer instructions uh, on you know, how to access it from different operating systems, whether it's Mountain Lion, Lion, Snow Leopard, but don't bother going down that path as those are all out of date right now. So from here, go ahead and click on the Install Java link, and don't bother with the instructions again at the bottom, just go ahead and install the update. Install Java and then make sure to close down Firefox. I've had a few users that reported that they needed to restart in order to get it to work, but for me this was not a necessary step. Simply installing, running the install, and then quitting completely out and restarting Firefox was enough to get mine working. After you've completed this, simply log into ZipForms and you should receive the little pop-up dialog box that looks like this, asking if you want to run the application JRE Detection. You can say yes, and if you'd like, you can even always trust content from Publisher Box. If you check that, uh, you don't have to go ahead and authorize this in other Java-based applications. It will simply uh, allow you to do it across all of those. The first time you run it after selecting run, it will run a little bit slow, so don't think that it's locked up. Just let it go through its paces. Uh, you're probably even going to be greeted with the spinning beach ball of death. Um, have some patience and just let it run its course. I promise that the next time you access zip forms, it's going to run a lot smoother and a lot quicker. If you've not updated your Mac and you're watching this video, then it still pertains to you because eventually you're going to be stuck looking for a solution to this problem. All of your updates come through the App Store, uh, which is the little circle, the circular blue icon with the A, and I'm sure it's got a red badge on it with a big number because you probably haven't been updating um, you know, some of the software on the Mac. So go ahead and do that. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave any comments uh, or questions down below, and I hope this gets you back on track and up and running with zip forms on your Mac.